Right guys, gonna have a go with TPU. Oh. So we've got the direct drive on my Ender 3, whatever it is. I've watched so many videos on printing with TPU, I am now totally confused. So I'm going my own way. Main point I did pick up was um, it does stick to your build plate. So various ways of curing that. I've covered it with Elmer's glue. That should help me release it afterwards, apparently. Another way of covering it is using masking tape. But I thought I'd try the Elmer's glue first. Print temperature, I'm going for 220 at the moment. Which is actually less than I've been using on the purple PLA+. Plus. Uh, but I've dropped the bed temperature to only 60 degrees. We are time-lapse filming it. We're going to print four tyres. All at once. Now probably ought to just print one at a time but again watching these videos there can be a problem you actually need the filament to cool down between layers so say it gets very confusing you just read read watch so many videos and they all got their own ideas so we're just going to go for it see what happens so I'm printing slower than normal just 20 It's, well, as you can see, white TPU. I will just watch it for a few minutes, see if we can get the first layer done at least. And then I will go away and leave it with just the time-lapse camera. All sorts of suggestions that were, or settings that were suggested. Z hop, uh, retraction, uh, all sorts of things. But a lot of those were about trying to do it with your standard. Ender 3 with the Bowden cable. So having the direct drive should help. It's just short of three hour print for this. So like I say, we'll watch the beginning and then we'll leave it for the time lapse. Singing away to itself. These are the wheels designed by Under Engineered for his Gamma 2 radio control car, which I've also printed, or at least I've printed the chassis. The other thing about the uh, TPU 
filament is it's hygroscopic, which means it absorbs moisture. Which means when I put it back in the bag, when I've finished printing these, it probably won't be as good when I take it out again next time. And the advice there is either use one of those um, desiccators, things that dry them out, and we'll pop it in the oven for a length of time. One of the videos I watched gave some heating and time settings for doing that. Well, at the moment, we appear to have the first layer down. Whether it all goes wrong when I turn my back and go back downstairs, we will find out later. Uh, time is half past nine, so, so I say it's about three hours, so just after midnight sometime. I should be able to check. I could just say one of the reasons for wanting to get this to work is this car, which is only toy grade, and you could go drifting with it because it's got hard plastic tyres which I've coated in uh, rubber tape to give them grip but I thought it would be interesting to see if I can print replacement tyres and then I might consider hobby grading it come on, focus there we are It's just a rather nice looking car. Okay, so tires are printed. Can we release them? Yeah. No trouble at all. Mm, they're soft. I wouldn't have said they were going to give us significant grip even if they're in focus sorry about that oh all right well we'll have a look at them downstairs to see if they fit on the car they don't look too bad Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.